a woman who loved the town and worked mm. tirelessly to make it better. And the First Baptist Church in Curie Beach was filled to overflowing as people came from all over for Betty Medlin's funeral. Here's WECT's Sarah Warland. Hundreds gather at the First Baptist Church in Curie Beach to remember Betty Medlin. She thought of herself as the personification of Curie Beach, and most people here would agree. We all know that Curie Beach was her town and that she was Curie Beaches. From the moment that she put her feet in the sand, it bore into her soul, and Curie Beach and its people were her passion. Her love of the small beach town was apparent. She served as mayor from 1993 until 2005. She died last week of complications from thyroid surgery. This is her husband. She's one of the finest ladies I ever met. Medlin had a tell it like it is style. I consider Betty a friend. Uh, she was always outspoken. You knew exactly where she stood on any issue, and, and she would certainly relay that to you, and I admired that about her. She didn't disagree with you. She'd call you a ninny. <laughs> and she called me a ninny a lot. Some say her straightforward attitude helped make Curie Beach what it is today. She was a very fine lady. We, the whole town thinks a lot of her. Even as the funeral ends, there are signs throughout Curie Beach that suggest Betty Medlin will be in this town's heart for years to come. In Curie Beach, Sarah Warlick, WECT News. Now, Betty Medlin will be buried in her hometown, Zebulon. That's in Wake County, just outside Raleigh. You know about Betty Medlin, I always remember those New Year's Eves because she enjoyed counting down. Curie Beach would have a ball drop, and she got so excited about that. Had a great time, invited everybody to Curie Beach for it. Well, the one story I can remember about Betty Medlin was right after Hurricane Fran, no one was allowed on the beach. Mm -hmm. I wanted to get there, of course, to get the story, to get the pictures, and I said, Betty, I really mm -hmm. need to get on the beach. Yeah. And she looked at the National Guardsman and she said, boys, let Miss Wella through, <laughs> and that was just her style. <laughs> she said it a little louder voice than that, yes, I Yes, she did. <laughs> well, we will miss Betty Medlin as well. We're going to check back with George after a break for an in-depth look at what could be some trust.